this is a continuation of our discussion last time. Okay? So, in this um, presentation, rem um, I will just show you the difference of humanities and social sciences and where art belongs to. Okay, so once again, this is our course title, Contemporary Philippine Arts from the Region, course code UMO2. And by the way, if I fail to mention, I am Ms. Lesserime M. Maldonado from the Social Sciences Cluster of the Senior High School Department. So, hello, can you hear me? I hope you can hear me very clearly and this video is um, vivid to you. Okay, so I just want to have a maximum participation of each one. I just hope that everyone will have their participation on this course. Since itong course naman na ito ay hindi mahirap, I think. Meaning, it is just merely an appreciation of the Philippine arts. Okay, so let's differentiate social sciences versus humanities. So, kung mapapansin nyo, sa yung strand na nga lang, they are being combined, humanities and social sciences. But, um, honestly, there is a distinction between the two. Let's see. Focus. Social sciences and humanities. Let's see the focus of each one. Alright. So, in social sciences, it attempts to see human being in a mass. Meaning, in a mass, madame. Maramihan, it is a collective of persons sharing some cultures, tradition of the same society or same community as subjects for generalizations. Their behavior being a fit um, subject for prediction. Okay, so when we say social sciences, ang concern niya, madami. Collective of people, um, pwede rin naman na collective behavior also. We see it in the macro perspective or in the macro level. While in humanities, it is more concerned with the individual. Okay, so that is the major difference between the social sciences and the humanities. So, remember, I'm sorry. Remember, more concerned with the individual and especially with the unique creations of the individual imagination which we call works of art. Okay, so we focus on the individual but not in the individual alone. We focus on the works of art or imagination which are works of art of that particular individual. So, the approach, let's see the difference between the approach bit, uh, of social sciences and humanities. For the social sciences, we have the scientific approach, application of a empirical, rational, and objective methodology to present the facts. Okay, so when we say social sciences, it is really a science. So when we say it is really a science, we it is objective. Okay, we use objective methodology. It is based on hypothesis, research, conclusions. Okay, so we use a scientific approach. We use our empirical evidences to present facts. Okay, pawang katotohanan lang using sciences. We follow scientific method to present facts, to present an output based on um, concrete researches. However, in humanities, philosophical approach yung ating gagamitin dito. Application of an interpretive methodology to render something meaningful for others. So, when we say interpretive, it is personal. Okay, it is in the personal level, meaning, kaya nga siya philosophical, it is in the individual level. Okay, in the individual level and shows interpretation among others as well. Para lang ma-render natin yung meaning na kinoconvey ng isang artwork through humanities. And sa function, ayan, so yung difference niya in social sciences to explain and to analyze, explain, and possibly predict human behavior as groups or individuals and to generate and produce new knowledge or factual information. So, as I have mentioned, we follow scientific um, method. We follow the scientific approach. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya pwedeng palagay ko, palagay ko, or sa tingin ko. Diba? We have hypothesis being tested and we generalize um, conclusions. Sa humanities naman, to better appreciate the meaning and purpose of the human 
and to reveal wisdom to better explore and address the big questions and meet the challenges in the human condition. So in humanities, it is merely appreciation since, since it is in the individual level. Diba? It is in the individual level, um, meaning to say, meron tayong mga big questions. Doon pa lang sa mga questions natin about ourselves, like ano yung purpose sa buhay, ano yung gusto nyong maging someday or ano yung dapat nyong ginagawa for today, etc. Marami tayong questions. And remember, in the humanities, we are in the individual perspective. Study areas. So, some study areas of both. For the social sciences, we have anthropology, archaeology, economics, linguistics, policy, psychology, sociology, and stat. Okay, so these are some of the fields in the social sciences, whereas in the humanities, we have architecture, arts, and film, history, history of art, language, and literature, music, philosophy, religious studies. So these are some of the fields that humanities focus on, but not limited to, hindi lang siya limited to, um, on these mentioned um, fields. Next. Humanities, yun, man, di ba? We highlighted the word man. General, generally means art, literature, music, and the theater. Areas in which human values and individual expressiveness are celebrated. So, yun nga, sabi natin na man yung focus dito. And yung man, di ba? Human values, expressiveness, di ba? We have individual differences. Meaning to say, we express ourselves very individually. We differ on the ways we express ourselves or we show ourselves to others. Diba? Even our interests, they are really different from one another. And, alright, what distinguishes man from other creatures? So, might as well you know the answer, but let us just have a quick review on this. The humanities engage both in the intellectual and intuitive emotional selves. So, yes, sasabihin nyo dito ay, the animals have feelings also. Sometimes they know how to think as well, di ba? But yung level natin would be different. We are intellectual individuals or creatures. Intuitive, we have intuitions, we have emotions, di ba? And that's what um, makes the difference. Okay? Iba yung level natin among some other creatures like animals as some would contend. The artistic process, artist interacts with an experience or a subject. So, sinabi ko nga na to na we need a subject, we need an experience, a static experience, di ba? For the artist to have interaction uh, on, a particular, on a particular subject. The artist translates the interaction into a medium. So, yung interaction niya when he or she is able to draw inspiration, he can now convert it into a medium. Whether pagsusulat, di ba? Or painting, or write a song, a poem, a spoken poetry, etc. So, that could be the medium of the artist and those are all valid, valid mediums. Then, the elements of the medium are used to produce the finished work. Okay, so that's it. Yung mga medium na yun, it can be used. Or malaki yung gagampanan nun as a tool for them to produce a particular artwork. We are delighted in the arts through our senses. That's true, di ba? We have five senses and mas stimulate lang yung one or more than one na senses natin. That would be a great help for us to, um, to, to create an artwork. With the knowledge of how the artistic process works, our enjoyment can increase in two levels, understanding and feeling. So, hindi lang tayo yung naintindihan lang natin yung, war, yung art per se, di ba? Sometimes, we are able to feel the artwork as well. We, as the artist's audience, we interact with the work of art or we experience it. Thus, we recreate what is presented to us. So, sometimes, kapag nakakakita tayo ng artwork, ginagaya natin. Or, I want to do this kind of a thing. Diba? I want to write as well. I want to draw. I want to sketch. I want to to paint something as well. So, yun nga, nire-recreate natin. 
kung ano yung presented sa atin. In one way or another, we have seen. ba? Diba? Minsan nagiging inspiration yan for some. Humanities versus arts naman. So, those are different fields as well. Art and the humanities go hand in hand. Okay? So, hindi siya mawawala. Hindi pwede mag-exist yung isa nang wala yung isa. Art illustrates the humanities while humanities translate and interpret the illustration. Okay? So, hindi sila yung tipong dapat pinaghihiwalay. Nasa translation and illustration yung, pang, yung dalawa, arts and humanities. The arts and the humanities are complementary practices that exist in a shared space and that do the work of making sense of human experiences. So, very complementary itong dalawa. We cannot get away from one another. And we need those two for us to interpret experiences, um, making sense of things through artworks. Art? What is art? So, art is derived from the Latin word ars, meaning ability or skill. So, ano lang naman to, um, ano yun, pinanggalingan lang ng, words na, ng word na art. So, functions of art, social, una, social function for influencing other people, whether in moral, spiritual, political, cultural, economic, and educational influence. So, in one way or another, we are influencing individuals. Ibig sabihin, hindi lang siya artwork for yourself. Meaning, nakaka-influensya ka din ng iba. Okay? Especially kapag um, you are used to displaying it in, over the social media, you are used to exposing it among others. So, yun. Social function lang siya. And personal yan, merely for expression, communication, and relaxation also. Di ba? Minsan, um, nagsusulat-sulat tayo for, for nothing. Nagsisketch tayo for nothing. Di ba? Parang wala lang. I feel relaxed on this. I want doing this. You know. So, that is also a function. A personal function of an artwork. And physical yan. Tools, containers, or shelter. Ano yun? Bawa sa shelter, gumagawa tayo nagde-design ng bahay. So, that is a mere function of an artwork. Nature of arts. So, art is experience. It tells of physical, emotional, intellectual, and spiritual experiences. So, yun niya, as I have mentioned din kanina, um, it tells experience. We, we draw, we make art out of experiences. Kung ano mga klase ng experiences yun naranasan natin. Art is man-made. It is imitation of nature as well. Diba? So, yun, kung ano nakikita natin sa paligid, ginagawa din natin inspiration for us to draw an art. Art is beauty, it provides aesthetic pleasure. Art is experience. And then, what is experience? Experience is the actual doing of something. So, very self-explanatory naman na to. There can be no appreciation of art without experience. And experience, yan, personal siya, pwedeng sa personal or individual level. Or it can be accompanied by emotions or emotional reaction. Okay? Components of art. So, dalawa lang naman to. We have the work and the artist. Art is not nature. Art is not equal to real. Okay? So, ito ibig sabihin niyan. Individual artists have their own very personal ways of saying. Personal perceptions and feelings come into play. Meaning, hindi kailangan na totoo yung art. Or mean nakikita natin or concrete. Okay? Alam niyo mga abstract paintings? ba? Diba? When we see abstract paintings or abstract artworks, hindi nakikita natin na yung emotion ng, ng artist ay nandun. Kapag medyo magulo, baka it is a way of releasing his or her rage or confusions or yung mabibigat na emotions. Sa kulay, kita din natin kapag light colors yung ginamit, it could mean happiness, it could mean comfort, etc. So, ibig sabihin lang dito ng art is not equal to real, yun nga, hindi porket, hindi nahahawakan, ay eh, hindi na yun arts. Okay? And scope of arts, according to purpose, and according to media and forms. So, let's see, sa purpose, we have the content. Titingnan nyo yung, kumbaga, deeper meaning, or the understanding of such artwork. And sa form naman, um, ayan, so meron tayo mga different artworks, films, 
spoken poetry, yung mga lahat na nabanggit natin kanina. So, that could mean um, the form of an art. According to purpose, yan, practical arts or useful arts. So, we sometimes use utensils. Ayan. Mga different kinds of artworks naman. Liberal arts directed toward intellectual growth. So, ibig sabihin ng liberal arts, sometimes may mga courses, may mga courses na ina-apply natin, liberal arts, let's say, BA Film, or BA Broadcast Communication, etc. Those are liberal arts. Sa fine arts naman, focus towards creative activity for the contemplation of the mind and uplift the spirit. So, fine arts, yan, more on visual arts, alam yun, to lift someone's spirit. Major arts, yan, painting, architecture, kaya nga minsan kailangan natin dito ng degree, ba? Diba? And we are licensed for us to perform ano nyo yun, mga models inter- architectural models etc. Sculpture, literature music and dance yan. minor arts, mga decorations pop arts, graphic arts plastic arts, industrial arts etc. Mga arts na ginawa lang natin for relaxation yan, mga minor arts natin yun according to media and forms plastic arts so, yan. Developed through space and perceived by the sense of sight. Mga ano lang. Alam niyo, mga artificial arts. So, those are plastic arts. Kinetic arts shows element rhythm. Yan, mga dance. Diba? Or mga tiktok nga ng ilan dyan. Mga tiktokers natin and all. So, phonetic arts, sounds and words as media of expression. So, this is very common and applied among young students. Um, kindergarten, yan, di ba? Hinahasa natin sila on phonetics para natatandaan nila yung words. So, yun pa lang, artwork na yun. Pure arts, take only medium of expression like sound and music and color in painting. So, those are also kind of pure arts. And mixed arts, ayan, um, combination of different medium, music, poetry, drama. Okay, so mixed arts, yung tawag natin dyan. Okay, so for your first activity to be submitted next week. Okay? So, bali, next meeting, I mean, yung next, yung slot natin on this one, next meeting, yun yung space nyo, I mean, yun yung um, chance nyo or time nyo to produce or to do this activity to be submitted on or before next week, next meeting, the following week, via BBL. Okay? Course message. Okay, course message, indicate your, um, ay, wag na pala, wag na pala yung surname, mag appear naman na pala yun. Lagay nyo na lang, activity 1. Okay, activity 1, via course message. Ito yung gagawin, produce an artwork that showcases your understanding of what contemporary work, um, contemporary art is. So, anything, any artwork, it can be a visual art, a kinetic art, gusto niyo mag-tikto kayo. A simple activity lang for you, for us to know your understanding, your own personal understanding of an artwork is. What an artwork is. The artwork must also tell something about you, your art, skills, talents, preference, personality, etc. So, it should reflect something about you. For example, you draw something na nagre-represent for yourself. Or, you sing a song to us, na sabihin mo, mom, this is the song of my life. I know this is dedicated for me, etc. So, bahala kayo. Basta, it should reflect something about you and it should mean your understanding of what a contemporary artwork is. Okay? Okay, so those will be graded using the following rubric. And so, basahin na lang. Creativity, originality, effort, and perseverance. Craftsmanship, group craft. Ay, wag na yung group mo, okay? So, personal yan. I mean. Okay, so some quotes lang. Yung sining para sa bayan. Let us empower one another through arts. Okay, so I hope this video would be very helpful to you. Um, our definition of an artwork or... How do we define a contemporary arts? And yun nga, sa activity natin, if you have questions, feel free to ask me. This is an individual activity, so wala namang mag-restrict sa inyo. Sana ay eh, okay pa kayo guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay home. Alright? Thank you, and I'll see you on the next module.